It started from with three partners, and now I have uh, four equity partners and another four uh, uh, junior partners. So we have eight partners, and uh, uh, we have about forty something lawyers at the moment. So that puts us yeah in in, in the top. Uh, 10, 20 lawyers, uh, law firms in, in Indonesia. What we do is we provide uh, a general uh, sort of uh, expertise. We uh, kind of super supermarket, I, I guess, focusing on corporate and commercial matters. Yeah? But uh, because of now the size that now we are in, we now have the luxury of getting more specialized yeah like like me now i'm i'm more focusing on 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 uh, resources plantation uh, mining oil and gas so that's uh, i focus on that the rest uh, if it comes to me, if it's interesting, that I, I I will do it. Otherwise, I pass it on to my other partners who who, who who can do that. Each of the partners try to what do you call it? At least be specialized in some fields, so we can uh, what do you call it? More economically uh, take charge of uh, some matters because if you if you're not uh, experienced in in one sector, then you need to. Uh, what do you call it? You need to study it, and then that study time becomes another uh, cost for the clients. And and we're fortunate enough that we have now eight partners. Then we can uh, one partner doing something, one partner doing something else. So that works out well, and uh, our internal uh, structure makes it worthwhile for one partner to send uh, a client to. Uh, to another another uh, partner, because now we're growing, and we are an open partnership. Uh, every year, there's a new, at least, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, a new uh, junior partners coming up. The government is trying to do that. We have new investment law, uh, uh, which which has been revised again. And uh, you have to differentiate between the law and practice. The law itself, I, I think, is is good enough. The intention is there to uh, what do you call it to uh, open up our country for investments. Yes, the problem is the implementation <laughs> and implementation and interpretation sometimes uh, because the. That's the way our law system is made. The higher law is the this is like a brief outline of what we allow people to do, and this is what we, and it's explained more in a uh, lower regulations, right? And sometimes those lower regulations doesn't match with the, <laughs> with the law itself, uh, uh, depending on the flavor of the. Uh, the minister who's uh, handling that that uh, that industry, for instance, the problem that we have a uh, uh, central government, regional government that is getting stronger all the time, which I think for them is after 30 years of Suharto, they say now is our time to get funds into our own region, which should be good. But they have to think. I mean, I guess, I guess we are learning, and this is this is a learning process. This learning process that if your regency is not what you call it is is not friendly on for investments, you will be left behind. And that 
that is going to be, this is a process that the people are, I guess, starting to understand. Starting to understand that you have to, you have to welcome your in, the investors that is coming in. From the business side, I think you know the answer. Make it easier for uh, the investor to, to acquire land. Uh, the problem is the compensation side, right? And one thing that, that people forget is that we are now a democracy. So everybody can shout whatever they want, uh, whether it's right or not, including about their land compensation. And whatever law is made, if the common people don't like it, it's, it's, it's going to be, a, what do you call it? It's going to be a toothless law on land acquisition that is still very, 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 what do you call it, sensitive issue. Yeah? Because I guess in the end it will be decided by, okay, the investors, if they have good local partner, who, who knows the local situation? Uh, I, I I like 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 I hear from some clients who says this is the way we do. If we do land acquisition, this is how we do it. How we I said oh, that's interesting. I said I mean um, because they, they they're so secretive in how they approach this kind of thing before somebody knows and then the land price goes like. <laughs> and that's getting to be an art. And if if the investor has a good uh, local partner who knows this, then the project will go forward. Num number one is when you come to Indonesia, you have to leave behind what you think. Uh, what call it is your usual situation back home because Indonesia is Indonesia it's unique right you have to tackle Indonesia Indonesian way right number two if you want to make a business successful your personal relationship with the, your, your your partner is very important because sometimes that is more important than the than the sign agreement so that's, I mean, uh, number three, if somebody signs an agreement without any, any hassles, be careful because that guy is not really intending to honor it. Okay, Indonesia is interesting. Uh, it's a huge market provided you understand it. That's that's the whole point. I mean, it's if you understand Indonesia, how how to get along in Indonesia, then you I think you'll be successful. You have to have a good uh, uh, representation in I mean Indonesia. People who knows the local culture, of course, and how to deal. I mean, because there's <laughs> there's different way of handling if you if you are. Dealing with the state-owned companies, there's a, diff there's, there's a difference dealing with them and with the private companies in Indonesia. There's, uh, there's, there's uh, some slight nuances that you have to understand. <laughs>